sorry y'all just trying to get situated hi hello waiting for okay cool we're here you, you did it <laughs> no i'm surprised it's gonna be more complicated <laughs> yeah <laughs> um cool so hello we can wait for a couple people to come in yeah for sure I feel very tech savvy right now. That's for sure. I know. I've never done, I've never done any of this. Yeah. All Definitely right, something cool. new. You can put that on our resume. All right. Mm hmm Awesome. Cool. cool. Lots of people joining. People yeah. Hi, Welcome. everyone. Happy transfer week. Oh, yeah, Transfer National week Transfer week. week. Yes. yes. <laughs> and all the whole reason we're here. <laughs> yeah. Talk, talk to transfers. So did you want to start by introducing yourself? Yeah, um, I have it all on my computer. So let me just take a look at what I should say. Um, so hi, y'all. I'm Janie. Um, I am a transfer student. I am probably like a lot of you. Um, let's see. Uh, my graduate year. Um, that would be spring 2021. Um, my major is sociology and I have a minor in black studies and I'm affiliated with College 10. Um, I'm Irma. I transferred last year um, from Chafee College. My grad year is this year so I should be graduating in the spring of 2021 and I am affiliated with Oaks. So Oaks, I don't know if anybody <laughs> yells that anymore. I don't think Oaks is open. <laughs> they do, they do. Even in the Zoom meetings, they do. It's yes, <laughs> yeah. I saw a lot of pe I saw a couple people comment Oaks. Um, so I am affiliated with Oaks, and yeah. So if you guys have any questions, we do have some questions that we got um, prior to the live coming. I'll see. We have an Oaks. Oaks, so many of you. Nice. I forgot to mention, too, I transferred from Fresno City College, so the Central Valley. So if any of y'all are familiar, hello. Um, let's see. Um, do we want to tell, like, a little bit more about our experience, yeah. like, using UCSC? Okay, cool. Yeah, you um, can start. Sure. Okay. Um, so why I chose UC Santa Cruz? Honestly, I fell in love with the campus. I felt like a Disney princess whenever I walked around. So I just, I don't know. I knew I wanted to go to a UC. Um, I just didn't know which one fit me best. I did the TAG program. I don't know if y'all are familiar or know of the TAG program. Really great resource if y'all are trying to get your foot in the door. Um, so I did tap and tag. I visited UC Santa Barbara and I was like, mm, not really my style. Um, so I ended up going with UCSC, see a couple of hearts. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much why I chose it. I wanted to do research for sure at, during my undergrad time um, and UCSC, the campus was just beautiful and I fell in love. It was like love at first sight. Um, so what college was I at? Okay, I was at Fresno City College. Um, I was there for, felt like forever. Um, and then I went to UCSC. So I didn't, sorry if you hear like the cars driving by guys. Um, so yeah, I didn't really spend too much time in other colleges. I just, one and then the other and that was it. Uh, what about you, Irma? Um, so I, I did the tag as well. I actually tagged to Santa Barbara and ended up coming here. Um, and of course, just like everybody else, the campus is what brings, once you visit the campus, you're like, where else would I go? You know, like, yeah. why, why would sure. I skip the beach and the forest to go anywhere else? Um, yeah. And there's so much, I see people saying that there's so many turkeys. There is a lot of turkeys and a lot They're of deer. They're scary. <laughs> they are frightening. <laughs> Some turkeys will chase you, others won't. Um, we yeah. do have a couple questions. Is it possible to, to do all my classes in my first quarter so I can graduate earlier? I don't think that's possible just because you do need prereqs. Um, I need an advice. So I'm in the middle of making a decision whether to go. I would say come here. It's it's beautiful. It's very calming. Um, I take walks when I'm very stressed. So I'll just go out on a walk and it's just you feel a lot better, you know. 
And you can go down to the beach whenever you want. I mean, I came from Southern California and I mean, the beaches are nice there, but the beaches are nicer up here because you have the forest as your background. Um, I transferred from Chafee College, which is in Rancho Cucamonga, but I'm originally from Riverside. So I would just drive from Riverside to Rancho every day. Um, I'm MCD, my um, bio major. And then, yeah, so I use the tag. That one's, that that's a lot of help. And then um, you can reach out to the school as well. And they give you a lot of information. Right now, because of COVID time, we don't have a lot of like tours and stuff going on. So that kind of sucks. I know that I accepted the school before like anything. And then I came and visited. I was like, all right, well, this is it. This is where I'm going to do my next two years. Yeah. Also to um, add to that too, like the people are really what make you CSC so great. Like as corny as that sounds, like it's the, <laughs> the environment is great. But then once you get submersed in like the actual like institution itself, everyone is super nice. Everyone is super welcoming. Like, everyone's super spread out too because you're like on a mountain but everyone that you come across they're very kind like I remember my first day I was super lost like never been to a school so large and everyone yeah. is just really helpful and stuff so yeah definitely yeah, definitely you, yeah so the the 10 campuses on the application can look a little scary um I know that when I was applying I was like 10 colleges have to rank them like you don't really know but you start making friends because so we have Science Hill, where you'll take like mostly all of your STEM STEM courses. And then we have like the sociology buildings where you'll take your social, um, social one and social two are back here. And then classroom unit one and two are like the main ones that people take classes in, like your math. And I mean, everybody has to take a math and English, whether you're STEM or anything else. Um, so you make a lot of friends doing that. And then the colleges are spread out. And the best way to describe it is like it makes a horse like a horseshoe so like you yeah. start down with oaks and then you just move all the way across campus so you might meet somebody that's across campus and in order to go visit them when it wasn't COVID time um, you would be able to see all the other the other campuses on campus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a lot I think what's most confusing about the college affiliation is like well what is it do like you know which one should I pick um I would just go with the one that like speaks out to you the most um but yeah they're all really great and they all have they offer a lot of cool courses too yeah um, we have a lot of questions during Thanksgiving are the turkeys protected or are they fair game uh the turkeys are protected 24 7 all day all every year we do not attack the turkeys <laughs> they are our friends <laughs> Um, this is our dream school, and it seems so welcoming. Yes, very welcoming. Absolutely. I always oh, yeah. computer science major over there. I've met a lot of computer science majors here, and, I mean, they all love it. So I don't know from experience how the classes are, but they love they love their, their major. Can transfers live in any college? I thought it was only the transfer ones. Um, I believe they can live in any college, right? I think it's only when you're coming in as a freshman that you have to like live at the dorms of your associated college because I'm at college nine and ten right now and I'm Oaks but once again COVID changes everything so we have a lot of questions on the chat <laughs> so good opportunities for internships uh I would say yeah most definitely so that kind of leads us into our next part um our time on our campus what organizations we're part of campus resources that have helped um i know for sure my literally my first quarter at ucsc i um was interested in doing an internship just getting some experience to beef up my resume and stuff like that and i definitely did uh, partake in one i did an internship for a graduate school called alder graduate school um it's Basically, like you would do recruitment for that graduate school for people who want to become teachers and get their teacher residency and their credentials. Um, and it was paid. So that was really cool, you know. Um, and I know that there's a lot of other like opportunities out there depending on your major, but it really just depends on, you know, what you're kind of looking for. Like, do you want a paid internship or do you not care if you get a stipend at the end? Um, what kind of experience are you looking for? And yeah, I mean, the Career Center is really great at like 
shooting you emails all the time about all these yes. jobs and internships and opportunities, research, assistantships, things like that. Yeah, and there's internships as well for undocumented students. So I'm part of the SCIP, which is the Student Diversity and Inclusion Program, which um, does um, bring on students who are undocumented. And, you know, we partner up with different organizations on campus. And we, sometimes we do workshops and um, yeah, so there's there's internships for everybody. The Career Center is really good at sending out those emails and letting us all know what everything, what's going on. Um, are the buses to transport you to nearby stores? So we have two different buses on campus. We have what we call the loop bus, which will loop around the entire campus all day, all day. And then we have the city buses that do come up here. So you can take a city bus um, and go out down to the city and I think I've, I've gone all the way to Capitola on a bus before COVID time. So um, as long as you show your ID, you're able to transport. What are some popular majors at UCSD? I think computer science is the main one. Do you know, Jeannie? Yeah, the School of Engineering, very, very popular. Baskin, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, can you pick your college even as a transfer? Yes, you can choose your college even as a transfer. It's on the application. Mm -hmm. so just read up on it. Psychology is also a main um, major up here. So I have a car. What did I, what did you do with it? Cause I have to bring it to campus. So we do have parking permits. Um, mm -hmm. you, you can park on campus. There's different parking lots and different prices for different parking lots. So it just depends on where you're living and what your budget is. So budgeting is an important thing. You want to answer more of those questions? There's so many of them. <laughs> no, you're getting a shout out in the comments. Someone's <laughs> like, that's my friend. Um, <laughs> how difficult is it to get into classes you need? Um, I mean, if you come in as a freshman, you kind of build that seniority through the years, you know. But if you come in as a transfer, it can be a little difficult, but not impossible, I would say. If you're someone who's very punctual, like you set alarms to remind yourself when to register, like you can definitely get into the courses you need. Um, and then I think other, like if you're in special programs, like I don't know if the DRC does um, priority enrollment or if EOP does, but as you like, the more time you spend at UCSC, the more priority enrollment you'll get there. Um, and it's, it's fairly easy. I mean, I've never had an issue, but um, it really depends on your major too. So just being yeah. on top of your stuff really helps. Yeah, definitely. Alarms yeah. for registration are a big thing. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. So uh, one of the questions that we have here is like, what campus resources have helped us the most? Um, I would definitely, I'm just going to plug it in here, STARS. Uh, STARS. Center, <laughs> what is it? Services for transfer and reentry students. We're big on acronyms here and I, I struggle to yeah. remember all of them <laughs> because they're so, like the DRC Disabilities Resource Center, um, you know, the EOP program, like a lot of those programs have been really helpful and beneficial for students who are um, transferring. So, I mean, especially if you're like a, a non-traditional student, like if you're first gen or um, if you're undocumented, if, you know, you're a student parent, if you're re-entry. So, yeah, a lot of those resources, slug support, really, really helpful as well. Just yeah, to name slug support, yeah. STARS, EOP. I mean, those are the main ones. I, as a transfer student, STARS get connected with STARS, not only because they can assign you like mentors where like you reach out to them and they help you out with any question you may have. And then they also, um, Janet's really good at sending out scholarships. So she, she's the one in charge of sending out scholarships and we all know we need the money <laughs> up here. So um, trans uh, yeah, so STARS is one of the main ones. EOP is another one. And slug support is another one. So we do have a lot of resources on campus. We also have resources for undocumented students. Like um, we have the Undocu Student Service. We have Beyond Dreams. We have so many programs up here. And as I mean, you meet one person, and that person will tell you five different programs. And then from that program, you go to the next one. So we have a lot of resources. Let's see. Science Hills, where I lived, where I want when I went there. Yeah, Science Hill is definitely where I used to live too before COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so some challenges about going to UCSC. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is getting accustomed to hiking every day. <laughs> um, like I walk, I consider myself someone who walks a lot because my dog and stuff. But yeah, it's intense. The uh, the inclines you're going to go up, like you're definitely going to need like a wardrobe like to alternate your wardrobe a little bit because like I had to invest in in walking shoes that were comfortable yeah sneakers like converse will not do your ankles are gonna hurt at the end of the day for some people it doesn't matter too much but yeah walking being and setting time aside to walk because like um, I parked in the remote parking lots which I don't know how familiar y'all are with that but it's far from everything like it would take a good 20 minutes to walk to class sometimes because you know the buses are full or whatever's going on and um yeah walking get used to it bring cardigans yes. sweaters umbrellas you see sexy calves somebody took <laughs> the chat you see sexy calves yeah that that is our acronym yeah. um yeah mm-hmm. so Jeannie actually she lives off campus and then I live on campus so she would have to park at the remote and then walk up the hill um, I, I, I invested in a bike. I was like, I, there's no way I'm walking all this. And then when your classes, well, I mean, before COVID, when you had to walk from class to class, you did have to like, it was like a mile hike from one class to another. So, oh yeah, um, got like five miles in every time I went to school. It was great. Yeah. No so bi- I miss it. Yeah. Bikes are definitely an investment. I don't think you're allowed to skateboard on campus. I've seen people do it, but we, I know I've seen signs that say you're not allowed to. Uh, what's the best place to get information about scholarships and financial aid at UCSB? Hmm. Well, that, I mean, STARS is a good place to start if you're a transfer student. They will um, send you everywhere. Uh, does also, the UC I think if you Google, like, UCSC scholarships, there's a whole website link that, um, UCSC has for that too like um like some that are directly from UCSC and then some that are outside of it so yeah check that Somebody out said hello from Mexico oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um let's see best place to live on campus I lived at the trans what they call the transfer center was which was Redwood Grove and I loved it there <laughs> it, was, it was great it was in the middle of the forest and right next to the science hill so it was perfect for me um who throws the best parties honestly during covid time nobody has time for parties <laughs> you should not be throwing parties right now that should not <laughs> yeah uh, bikes get stolen even with you locks don't buy a bike um my, i've had my bike here for a year so it just depends um just be careful i mean usually you're riding your bike all the time so people are people can be friendly during covid time i don't think there's a lot of strangers on campus so yeah, I would okay. say like when you take your bike downtown, that's kind of more so. Like, yeah, look yeah. out. But on campus, people like it's the norm. Like we do bike sharing on campus too. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you guys go surfing? I do not go surfing. I am scared of sharks and I'm scared of the ocean. There's a lot of scary Same stuff here. here. Yeah, <laughs> but but there is a lot of people who do surf. I mean, you can ride your bike. I ride my bike down to the beach, and it's always full of surfers. So we are a big surfing like community. So. For sure. Um, do we have any more questions? There's so many of them. They just keep going. Uh, um, let's see. You want to go to the next question? So yeah, how, sure. How, what does it say? Jeez, I lost it. I asked you and I lost it. Um, what's the transfer community like at UCSC? So how do you find community coming in, especially right now? Yeah. Um, right now, it's hard just because it is COVID and, I mean, social distancing. The best way to make friends right now, if you're coming to UCSC, would be um, during your discussions in class. So like when you're in class, you'll have discussions for each class or some professors are doing breakout rooms. So that would be your best way. Like you can find somebody that not only in the same major as you are, but um, on the same path, the career path that you're on. And you can just direct message them and be like, hey, like I'm struggling with this part of this class. Like, do you want to get together and, you know, study and that's like the best way to build community right now because that's that's how I'm doing it yeah for sure and then I know that stars offers Kresge 25 so stars is in Kresge college or whatever and you don't have to be uh, affiliated with Kresge to take the class as long as you're a transfer student you can do it over the summer you can do it during the fall and I've heard a lot of great things so 
forgot to mention this earlier, but I'm the lead transition mentor for the STARS Transition Mentorship Program. And a lot of the mentees that we work with, um, they took the Kresge 25 class and they said it was really helpful because it helped them integrate into a UC, let alone the university itself. And that, um, you know, it's really easy to make friends in the class because you have like what we call sections, which are pretty much just discussion components of the course. Um, and they're small and they're intimate and like you can meet people within the same major or different majors. And I hear that's a really great way to make friends. Full disclosure, when I transferred in, I didn't do any of those things. And I really, really regret it because it's really hard when you don't um, kind of force yourself to make friends like if you just yeah. stay in your bubble you will be in that bubble yeah and then you'll just be stuck <laughs> yeah it's and just hard right, right now too. during covid yeah i would say stars i know we keep saying stars 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 but stars really like they go above and beyond to kind of make the transfer experience better in whatever way that they can and to support all transfer students um, we do host events online for Zoom, and if you're in our transition mentorship program, we hold, um, we hold events for that as well. So I think a week ago or two weeks ago, um, we did a transfer orientation for our mentees, and so we, and we put them all in breakout rooms, and that was a great way for them to build community and to get more information. So if any of y'all are coming in or have just joined, like, go ahead and apply if that's yeah. something you're interested in. So I see in. Sam, she's, she's, she looks like she's in distress. Does the UC tag help? So the yeah. UC help, it does help. Um, you still do need to meet the requirements, um, but it does help you to get in. Um, like oh, I yeah. said, if you're just joining, I didn't tag here. I tagged to UC Santa Barbara, but I still ended up coming here just because it was a better school. And yeah. I don't regret that decision at all. <laughs> yeah, um, I tagged to UCSC and I got in. So guarantee is like, yeah, you're guaranteed. Yeah, as long as you meet the requirements, you're good to go. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then what are other questions we can ask? Uh, how do you apply to the transfer program? Um, so as long as you're a transfer student, you're already a part of STARS. Like, they will reach out to you um, the moment, you know, you come in. Um, if you want to be a mentee in the transition mentorship program, you would have to apply for that through STARS. And you can Google like UCSC STARS and their website should come up fairly easily. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, let's see, as transfer students, who are you guys able to take classes for passion or was all your class devoted to your major? All my classes were devoted to my major just because mm -hmm. I wanted to get out of here in two years. Um, I mean, now I regret it because I want to stay here forever, but um, I didn't really have time to, like, take passion classes. I, I just focused all on, like, what my major required and needed. I did take, like, before COVID time, I, I think they still have some. So they have, like, sports. Um, I think now they do them through Zoom. So you could do, like, Zumba and, like, uh, yoga and stuff through Zoom. But before COVID time, they did have, like, you can take different um, athletic classes. So I was in volleyball, and that was kind of, like, my getaway during my first year or quarter here before COVID hit, so. Yeah, for me, it was a little different just because I was kind of ahead on units when I transferred in. So I think I was like 15 units ahead, which totals out to three courses. And I was told like, okay, you can do whatever you want or you can graduate right. early type of thing. So I did take a couple of classes for fun. Um, one of them was like an online, like fully online, not be like before COVID, obviously, um, this was by choice. Um, <laughs> it was an online drawing intro course. So it was really cool. Like you just bought the supplies and you just kind of did it at your own pace type of thing. Um, and because I didn't want to graduate early, I ended up adding a minor and that I consider for fun. So yeah. Just did you want to talk more about the minor? It's, it's a new minor here on, oh, yeah, on campus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so UCSC has introduced two new um, studies, I guess you could say. Um, one of them being the Black Studies minor. Um, it's not a major, I don't believe, but it's offered through the Critical Race and Ethnic Department, Ethnic Studies Department, I'm sorry. And um, it's very new. It just started this fall, and I was very much intrigued. So I'm in the intro class. I'm taking an elective for it as well. Um, and it seems, I mean, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. The professors that I get to work with are amazing. They're very, like, just, they're very... Um, 
like knowledgeable about what they're teaching and they're very um I don't know I mean with everything going on they're just so nice like they're just so like accommodating for it being a new minor and things like that um so I'm I'm really enjoying it I saw a question though about finding housing off campus um so I actually lived off campus when I was in Santa Cruz and um it's not super difficult I think you just have to kind of be mindful about the people you're going to um share a space with because I am very particular I've always lived alone so that's kind of something that I worried about I have a dog too so um it was a very big decision to share you know your space with someone but I would say a good re like a couple of good resources that I utilized were um like the Facebook group pages so there's yeah. like official UCSC um like housing sublet group pages there's general Santa Cruz housing pages and this is like totally normative like people really go out of their way to like um find housing to kind of find someone to take over their lease and things like that so I know it can be kind of intimidating and scary at first it definitely was for me it was like I'm gonna live with strangers oh my gosh mm -hmm. um but you know you you kind of just figure it out as you go I came um I saw one place and I fell in love with it and the vibe was good and I went back several times just to kind of feel it out and yeah it was fairly easy I mean having a pet does kind of narrow down your search because there's not always um, pet friendly renters out there but you'll definitely come across some really cool amazing kind people who are like yeah we love animals bring them in so yeah so yeah definitely yeah and then for me on campus I had to be on campus and um, I was lucky enough to be in my internship which pays for my housing because we were required to be on campus for our workshops um, yeah, so, I mean, every year, like, my first year was all strangers. This year, I'm lucky enough to be with friends, and one of them has a pet, so I get to have a dog without having a dog. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but housing is, right now, it's a little weird because of COVID, so, I mean, off campus, I know that I, I have a lot of friends that live off campus, and they love it because they're by this, I, I personally don't think I could live off campus. I think I would get distracted, and I would just never be home and never do my work so I, I kind of like being here how are your roommates now my roommates are amazing they are they're great I love them yeah I had a great experience with my roommates too I didn't have roommates the whole time that I was living in Santa Cruz just for like the first three months I think and they were so nice they were great like I don't know everyone in Santa Cruz that I came across was always really kind yeah um BP Finster is asking for photography photography classes uh, I don't know much about it. I did have a friend or I do have a friend that's in all that um, and he would do all these photography stuff at home but I'd never understood it so I mean it looked cool and he like printed out some some pictures for me that he had to take for his class but I don't know exactly um, um, about the classes and if they're cool or not. <laughs> um can you have a pet on campus housing? So you can have a pet. Um, you have to go through the DRC and you have to do, you do have to have like the correct paperwork. Um, and once that paperwork is all put into action, then you're allowed to bring your pet onto campus. So you'd have to go through the DRC for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a friend in a lot of my major courses who had a dog that they brought with them. His name or her name, I'm sorry, was Sausage. Oh my gosh, cutest dog oh. ever. Yeah. Yeah, so there, there's there's lots of pets up here, um, yeah. especially right now. I think during COVID, there's a lot of pets, and it's really nice to see all the little puppies and dogs walking around and stuff. I've been wanting to get a pet, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, so any other questions? Let's see. So one How of the questions from that a we small were college to was... UC in terms of schoolwork. What was it? Um, how was the change from small college to UC in terms of schoolwork? Um, it was an adjustment for sure because quarter system is very different than a semester system, which was what I was on at my CC. Um, so our quarter system, I believe it's 12 weeks total within each quarter and there's three quarters within the year. Um, 
it definitely keeps you on your toes. Um, if you're someone who like just kind of burns through information quickly, then like by all means go for it. Um, so that's one of the differences, major differences I would say. Um, and the, I would say also like the, the course times, like a lot of my courses at my CC were timed differently and they weren't very long. And when I got to UCSC, I was like, oh, these classes are like an hour and a half for like an hour and 20 minutes or whatever have you. Um, and it wasn't bad. It, they actually go by really quick, especially because you're not even in them for a long time. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, when I was transferring, and this is something you'll hear all the time is time management, time management, time management. And when you're first transferring, you're like, yeah, time management, everybody says that. But like, then you get into classes and you're like, oh man, it's the first day of class. And then it's like, oh man, I have a midterm in two weeks. Like it goes really quick. You know, it's not, yeah. it's not like a, I have time. I have time. Like, no, you don't have time. Like you have to do your stuff. There's no such thing as procrastination, you know? Oh um, yeah. You have it's to be weird to go from like a CC and you go through the syllabus for like the first three lectures of class. Yeah. Like, how it's like at UCSC at all. Like you will no. touch on the syllabus and then you'll go straight into lecture. Straight to lecture. Have, yeah. And then you have a <laughs> midterm like four classes from that day. So it's, yeah. it's intense. <laughs> Yeah, I was definitely surprised when it was like, oh, yeah, the syllabus cool. Like, it's syllabus day, right? And it's like, oh, no, so today we're going to be starting on chapter blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, wait, what? <laughs> My brain was not prepared. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, yeah, your homework will be posted and you have to do go to discussion and then your lab is next week. And it's like, they are definitely 16-hour days. Yes, you you wake up in the morning and you're not done till you're done. <laughs> so yeah. there's no, like, which is also important to like, you know, it is important to take breaks and like mental breaks because it can, it can get pretty bad. So. Yeah. And I would say there's a lot more reading. Like, I don't know for yes. your major, but for mine, like being a sociology major, like you don't get, I feel like CCs are heavy on assignments, like busy work mm -hmm. and UCSC is more heavy on like the reading aspect. So you being accountable for keeping on top of the readings, because when you come to class, if you haven't, you're going to be kind of lost so yeah definitely um I think for my major it's it's more you have to, I mean the professors are amazing um they teach very well but you also it's not just going to lecture um once you're at a UC um you have to like go home and practice that you have to go home and read up on it and you have to go home and master it. it's not it's not at, at least at my CC I just remember what like my professors would teach and then that would be on the exam but at a UC they 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 test you differently they test you at like not asking the questions that they showed you in class but like how to apply that into real life and that's why you have to master what they teach you because you have to be able to apply it to real life yeah um, definitely I think like reading too like I was never an active reader like I was very passive and after like going to UCSC I've learned note taking while you're reading is very super critical to like your success yeah. there yeah definitely there was a um, question we... about having jobs um, yeah so I have a job you have a job and I'm part of an internship and you're part of an internship so it's definitely a lot of work I mean, yeah some days I'm just like how do I do it? But um, <laughs> I work for admissions. So I'm on campus and I just go down to admissions. Um, and I work, yeah, I work Monday through Thursday. So, and then I have my internship, which is another like 16 hours that I have to add onto that on top of it. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, time management, people will say that till your ears bleed, but time management is definitely your key to success at a UC. That's, that's my advice. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I currently work two jobs. A couple weeks ago, I worked three for UCSC, which was Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I mean, classes hadn't started yet. So it wasn't too, too bad. But um, my first job at UCSC was through the HSI program. Um, because they're an HSI school. So Hispanic Serving Institute, we have like a high population of Latinx students here. And um, the program I worked for was Cultivamos Excelencia, which was a partnership with San Jose City College and UCSC. Um, that was really cool. Y'all should check it out when it comes back into the yes, works. Um, and then now I work as um, programming, assistant programming coordinator um, for STARS. And I also am the lead transition mentor for stars as well so nice. yeah 
don't know how I find time for own and taking 20 units this quarter. So yeah, it's, it's great. Being busy is great. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I feel like the busier you are, the, the faster your days go by as well. Like you have less time to procrastinate because you're like on a time limit and you're like, no, I have this hour for free. Like I got to get my work done. Like, so I think staying busy is nice as well, especially during COVID time, you know, it's, it's, it gets you away from like being, I don't know, just laying in bed watching Netflix. <laughs> yeah, or being caught up thinking about everything going on. So yeah, definitely. It gets your mind off of that. So what other questions can we answer? Let's see. What is a dorm life like for a transfer student? So you lived off campus, right? Like right off mm -hmm. the bat when you transferred? I didn't live on the, in the dorms, so I haven't lived in the dorms. I've lived at an apartment since I transferred. And um, so at the apartments, it's nice because you kind of have that like feeling of living on your own. And I mean, you get to cook for yourself. So now you have to add time for that. So you have to actually make food for yourself. So I feel like the dorms would be easier because you just go down to the dining hall and pick up your food, right? <laughs> Um, and then, so I, I love living in an apartment and right now during COVID, it's a little weird just because social distancing and, you know, they're trying to get housing squared out, but, um, everybody's in a single to, to stay safe. And then social distancing is also being practiced. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say about it. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah. I think dorm life is definitely a lot different now than when I was on campus. Um, I had a couple of friends who lived in the dorms. They loved it. They loved having like, you know, friends that they basically lived with. Um, I'm pretty sure you can choose if you know someone too that you want to share a dorm with when it's not COVID time. Um, I think you can arrange that too with the housing office. So stuff. Um, so for those who are just joining us, my name is Irma, I'm MCD bio um, transfer student. And did you want to reintroduce yourself for the people who are just joining us right now? Yeah, for sure. I'm Janie. Um, I'm a transfer student as well, transferred from Fresno, um, major sociology with a minor in black studies. And I'm affiliated with College 10. And I'm affiliated with Oaks. So fun stuff. <laughs> Um, so I believe somebody had asked, like, where were good places to hang out on campus? Um, Pre-COVID time, when you were able to hang out and not social distance, I mean, there was the portal, the Porter Meadows. I heard a lot of people go hang out there. My hangout spot was the library, so <laughs> I can't really answer on any of that. Um, <laughs> yeah, mine was my time the at room, so I'm like, yeah. oh, that's where I'd always hang out, because it's cool. They're yeah. super quiet. They're open all the time. Um, if I wasn't there, though, I would probably be at, like, the coffee shop. What was it? Iveta's Cafe. Iveta, they have yeah. Really great iced coffee, so. Yeah. Um, I would, yeah, so when I transferred the STEM Hub by U, um, EOP had just opened up at, um, the science and engineering library so that's where I was all the time because it was a specific hub just for STEM majors so you would walk in there and you'd find people from your class and they'd all be there studying and you could just join in on that yeah I always went to the library with some of my girlfriends too if I needed like a change of scenery um, the library is beautiful and it's great to be in the libraries or even in the study rooms because you're just surrounded by the forest so when you look up you're just looking yeah. at majestic trees and it's really yeah. great yeah yeah so. i'm really sad that they're closed but the all the libraries are closed right now due to covid um let's see what are some of the national transfer week activities that you have that stars has planned this week um i know i want to say this friday let me actually check my calendar so i can give the correct uh term what it's called transfer week celebration family fun so um from 4 to 5 30 they're doing a zoom event and basically we're gonna be like knitting and crocheting and just doing a bunch of That's random fun. activities together in different breakout rooms playing uh board games or some sort of games um so yeah that's what's coming up this week awesome yeah so if you guys want to join just hit up um stars and 
they can set you up with all yeah, of our activities. You can also follow. <laughs> yeah. So um, UCSC, all, usually most of the programs, if you just search like UCSC and then the program you're looking for, they usually do have like an Instagram and that's where they post all like their, um, their events and their Zoom links and stuff like that. So if you ever have a question, you can just go on to UCSC Stars and you guys can find all the information there or message them somebody's always answering messages so um let's see what is dorming like during covid uh it's very social distanced i mean i don't leave my apartment unless i have to go to work or have to go grocery shopping um just because the more distance you apply between you and people the less likely you are to get covid uh right now we are if you're living on campus, you do have to go get tested once a week. So once a week, I do have to go down to the Namaste Lounge and get tested for COVID. So that's one of the stuff. Uh, did you guys tag to UCSC? So if you're just joining us, um, I didn't tag to UCSC. I tagged to Santa Barbara and I ended up still coming here. So <laughs> um, I tagged to UCSC and I got in. So yay. <laughs> so, yeah. So tag does definitely work as long as you um, meet the requirements. Um, so I would stick with your tag. <clears throat> yeah. What's your number one piece of advice for transfer students? That's a good question. Do you want to answer it? <laughs> I'll let you answer that one. Um, don't be afraid to, sorry, my dog is like going through a moment right now. Don't be afraid to ask <laughs> questions and advocate for yourself. Uh, I know it's, for me personally, like I was going through like imposter syndrome because like, you know, the prestige of going to a UC and being in Santa Cruz, a beach city, I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm, I'm not like I'm too good, but I'm too shy to like build community. Like I didn't take advantage of the yeah. different opportunities and programs. And what I learned in the long run is like, it's my education and it's my money that I'm spending. So I can ask as many questions as I want. I can take up as much space as I want. Um, and it's, you know, it's literally at my expense. So whatever I want to do is what I make of it. So just don't be afraid to ask questions and advocate for yourself, wh whatever that looks like. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that would be, that's great advice. I mean, you hit it right on the dot. Also like the time management and yeah, imposter syndrome does, does seem to like kind of weave in the first quarter you're here because you're just like surrounded by other people that are at the same, like, you know, level, or I don't know how to explain it. But I know I had imposter syndrome for the first quarter. And I was like, I, what am I doing here? I, I don't belong here. Like, I should have stayed back. And I should have, like, studied more or something. But like you said, you just ask questions, like go to your professor's office hours, like, they're not as mean as they look when they're like lecturing when you go to their office hours, you see a different side of them. And they're more le like you can ask questions and it's less it's less stressful because there's less people there. It's just more like a one on one. So I would say like ask questions because this is your education, you're paying for it, you might as well get as much from it as you can. So that would be that's a great that's great advice. Yeah, for that's sure. Me. Especially if you're someone that's interested in research. So I'm doing a yeah. senior thesis for my last year. And as a transfer student, you're kind of like on a time crunch, unless you do a fifth year, like you have to hit the ground running. Like, if you know, if you come in knowing like, I want an internship, and I want to do research, or there's certain things that you want to gravitate towards. Um, definitely have to not be afraid to advocate for yourself in the sense of like having those conversations with professors like reaching out and saying hey like is there any research that you're doing is there a possible way like we could connect and talk about it um, reaching out to your major advisors telling them what your like academic plan is for yourself or what you want to do at your time um, at UCSC um, and they definitely can help your college advisors too. Yeah, and then we also do have the transfer prep program, which you can reach out to before transferring, and they um, offer mentors. So they they give you a mentor, and I have like five different mentors from all the programs that I'm in, and each one helps me individually with different things. So I have, I think I have four now because I think a couple graduated, but they all help me with different things. Whether it's like, hey, like. I'm struggling with like paying my rent or like paying my food and like I can go to a certain mentor and they'll be like hey like we have slug support or 
I have a, a different mentor who's specifically for STEM who will just like, hey, like I'm trying to get into a lab and he'll be like, oh, you know, like I was looking into this and actually this lab is looking for new hires because, you know, people are graduating right now and you can get in because they need people for winter. So it definitely like if reach out to people that are there for you because they're there to help you. You're not bugging them. You're actually helping them because they, they love to help people out. So reach out to your mentors. We do have that transfer prep program that you can reach out to. So is there a class specific for research? Um, that's actually a great question because my last quarter, spring quarter, um, I took a research practicum course. Um, so it kind of varies um, between majors. They won't offer them every quarter, I think. And sometimes they're just special research courses that you can just kind of enroll in and take as you go. Um, but this one was a sociology research practicum and it was oriented around COVID and just basically everything COVID um, and its yeah. effects. Um, but that was kind of my way of seeing like, okay, do I really want to do a senior thesis? How much do I enjoy research? Um, and then there's also Reading. programs to help you. Yeah, there's also programs. So like, <laughs> um, I know EOP does like pathways to research and stuff like that. But yeah. a senior thesis is something that you kind of decide on your own. No one ha No one's forcing you to do research while you're there. It's just kind of how much you want to get involved in. Yeah. Um, I mean, I haven't reached out for any research labs. Um, I I don't really want to do research. I know that it's important because I am pre-med and research does look nice on an application. But for me, I just I'd rather be volunteering at a hospital or um, taking different classes that have to do with pre-med, which kind of sucks because I know that I have to do research. So like in the winter, I have to like try to get into a lab. But during COVID time, it's it's kind of hard to get into a lab right now. Um, it's hard and it's not just because people are graduating, so they're like losing students, but they're also like don't really need, want new students to come in because of COVID. So it's just like reaching out to my professors and being like, hey, like I'm in your class. Like I was wondering if you like how I can get into your lab. It's really interesting. Like read up on the labs that you want to join. That way when you do email, like your professor or any or whoever's running that lab like you don't even have to be taking them for a class you can find a research lab that you want to join and just like read on it and when you email them let them know like you know what you're you know what the lab is about you're not just going in blind yeah so someone said did do you guys transfer from a cc yeah we both did we both transferred from community college yeah I transferred from chafee college in rancho cucamonga in southern california and i transferred from fresno city college in fresno yeah, so let's see. Mm, can can I transfer for something that's easy to get into, like art or something, and then transfer to engineering? So some majors you have to transfer in as that major because um, they have prereqs that you have to take at a community college. So it just depends on what that major is. Um, I don't know if you can go from art to engineering. Um, a good question i'll write that down and then we can probably post it up later and with the with the answer yeah i would um, say my best guess would be you might have to stay an extra year to kind of catch up on the major courses um since yeah. you wouldn't have fulfilled them possibly well, somebody's from riverside i'm from <laughs> riverside too I, I would drive to rancho so i'm from riverside as well um how what was the transition from socal to norcal uh very cold <laughs> Uh, I am cold 24 seven. I have a foot warmer. I have like 20 blankets. Like, I mean, it gets hot up here, but not Southern California hot. So, um, and it rains definitely... a lot. It rains crazy at UCSC. Yes. The rain up here is definitely beautiful, but definitely messy. I mean, mm -hmm. when you're walking from class to class. People were telling me like, oh, like you'll see broken umbrellas just laying around campus. I was like, no, you won't. And then the rain hit and I was like, oh yeah, you do. My umbrella like flipped inside out like three times. It was insane. Yeah, but it's I invested, yeah, I invested <laughs> in some very good rain boots and very good umbrella because it was definitely necessary. So, I mean, the, tra the transition was just weather just getting used to the weather. I mean, if you like the cold, you'll be fine. 
Yeah, for sure. But it, it does vary. Like, you know, in the morning, it'll be kind of chilly. Later in the afternoon, it'll be warm. And then in the evening, it'll yeah. cool down again. So just being prepared, you know, having like a cardigan or something on you. Yeah, layers are definitely your best friend up here. Um, yeah, for sure. Because I know I would leave. And the thing is that like when you were walking to classes when co- before COVID, like you would leave your house prepared for the cold but by the time you got to your class since it's a mile walk you're like sweating and you're like taking off all your layers because you're in class and it's like the heater's blasting so you're just like okay like that's enough layers so yeah layers my, are definitely your friend <laughs> my coworkers at stars we'd all laugh because you listen to music when you're walking up those big hills or just walking around campus in general yeah and we would always like take one earphone out and be like can someone hear me breathing really hard from <laughs> to class definitely hiking to class you're breathing definitely goes up you're just like I'm still not used to I live on the fifth floor and I'm I still huff and puff by the time I get to the top (laughs) because there's no elevators yeah I definitely get Um, your steps in yeah quick question do you guys work for UC at UCSC I work at admissions um I just scan transcripts and stuff and like I'm like an assistant there I don't officially like work as an admissions person but I do work there um do you feel safe on campus I feel pretty safe on campus yeah 100% um I don't really go out much I would say I'm most scared of the animals like the deers that pop up in the middle of the night uh you can walk down to Oprah's and the the entire field will be full of deers um and I heard rumors that there's mountain lions up here but I've never seen one and I've never heard of anything uh the turkeys might chase you around sometimes but yeah, the I think gnarly. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, it's pretty. It's a it's a safe campus. I mean, usually it's all students up here, and if you do you see somebody that's not a student, it's usually because they're riding their bike up the trails. It's not somebody who's just like walking up to campus and like just wandering around. You know, like it's a it's a really safe campus. So double major. Um, it's I would say it's fairly easy to declare double major. Um, the only thing is, is once you transfer in, I think you have to have your majors. I'm not sure for double majors, but your your proposed major has to be declared. I think by winter quarter or something like that. So it's a it's a fairly yeah. quick process. Yeah, you have to declare pretty quick. Uh, have you seen any coyotes? I have seen a couple coyotes, some baby ones, some big ones I try to stay away from animals I'm very scared of everything so I try not to go outside um let's see I joined a little bit late and I'm not sure if you guys answered the question but can you girls talk about how on-campus housing works for transfers so right now housing is a little weird because of COVID um as it's campus only has uh two colleges I believe or four colleges nine and ten crown and merrill for housing so um they're kind of everybody's mixed together right now usually you you would just I mean it's usually always mixed so you're you're usually around freshmen and transfers and that's how you kind of build a community but that's how it's working right now it's it's a little difficult with COVID answering housing questions um do you have to take core core courses at your selected college you don't have to take core courses as a transfer student um you can I know i took a I think I think I took a crown one my second quarter here but they're very useful as uh unit fillers because they're usually two units but they're not mandatory but they are very good so mine was on bioinformatics and it was pretty cool like we we learned about it uh, it was based on stem so it was nice you know um let's see what's another, another question how much do you think our personal inside questions should pertain to our majors versus the things like hobbies and other aspects? Is that for applying to UCSC? Yeah, the UC application, like the questions they ask you at the end. I don't know how to answer that. I mean, Honestly, it's been so, it feels like it's been so long since I, I did know, the application. It's, it's funny because that's all I did for my first job at UCSC was help people apply to the UC. I mean, I would say like 50 50. Uh oh, we got dropped my phone. <laughs> um, Sorry. <laughs> I would say 50 50. Like, as much as you can relate it back to like your career path or your major, like, that's great. But um, mine were super personal. So I'm not even quite sure how to answer that. Um, yeah. 
I think it yeah. depends because mine was 50 50 like more like half personal and then half of like what my career base was on so it just depends just be honest and like you know I, I guess like fill it out with your heart and but yeah um let's see which two colleges are best for transfer students I don't know is there is there a certain college for transfer students I think it all depends so each college has a different um like mantra or like they're different Theme. themes so you just have to look at the themes and what themes you enjoy mm -hmm. um yeah because i know porter so, is like more like theatrical in a sense like they, and or i think it, oaks is yeah. oaks is social science social justice yeah uh, rachel carson's environmental of course um mm -hmm. but there's there's it just depends on what you want um, do we have time for one more question? Because I know there's five minutes I, left. So Yeah, I think we have time for one more question. Let's see. Okay, so does UCSC have a STEM program? So a STEM program or STEM majors? Like I'm a STEM major and I'm part of the MCD bio, which is like an umbrella. It's an umbrella of like different majors underneath. So there's like neuroscience, there's just straight bio. Um, I don't know, ne uh, neuroscience is on there. And then of course, MCD bio by itself is on there. So um, you, it's like an umbrella that you just go to the MCD bio like advisors and they're able to help you like figure out where, what road you would like to take. So it depends on what road you want to take, they'll help you out. So I did MCD bio just because it's more like broad, um, yet very like specific other than just biology, like biology, you do ecology, but I also wanted to do more specific. So I did like micro, so MCD stands for molecular cell and developmental biology. So it's more specific to like pre-med and then there's neuroscience, which is just specifically for neuroscience. So you can always talk to all the advisors there and they are able to help you. Um, but sure. yeah, I think we're at our end, Mark. Yeah. You guys had a lot of great questions and you guys are always welcome to just like, I mean, message the UCSC people or UCSC admissions Instagram. <clears throat> I'm sure they'll answer any questions. Yeah. Um, well, that thank you, you everyone for tuning in and helping us eat away an hour of time because I was like, I have no idea what we're going to talk about. I know. I thought, <laughs> I was like, how can we talk for an hour? But yeah. here we are. I know. And yes. also happy National Transfer Week and um, hope you consider UCSC on your academic journey. Yeah, definitely. Be sure to follow the STARS um, Instagram so that you guys are all caught up on this Transfer Week and what um, events they're taking. Yeah. And Thank you guys all so much. You guys are yeah. so nice. Thank you. All. <laughs> Have a good night. I'm, it, Bye. It's nighttime. <laughs> Bye. It's nighttime here. Yeah. <laughs> all right.